Hey everyone, Mathari from Team Aratusa here. I hope you're all enjoying Crimson Curse, I know that I am. Today we're going to be looking at the new monsters deck, Midrange Bleed. Now as the name suggests, this is a midrange deck. It uses the new Vampire Bleed package from Crimson Curse for just an extra bit of value in round 3. Its leader is Dead Lafanda Erotine from the Crimson Curse. It's mostly a point slam deck with a little bit of control and a little bit of greed just thrown in to keep it balanced. The initial build and testing for this deck was done by Hamedi and Team Nova. Full credit goes to them. Hamedi and I refined the deck just a little on my stream and now we're ready to present it to you. So without further ado, let's go into the deck builder and see how the deck is built. So we will take a look at the deck package by package and first we will take a look at the Vampire Bleed package from Crimson Curse. And as we see on the left hand side of the screen, all you need are these three cards. You want to be playing Orianna with about four turns to go in round three and you want to play Queen of the Night the turn before her and Katakan the turn before Queen of the Night. Katakan will come down on either row to give you two vampires. Queen of the Night will come down on the melee row on the next turn to give you an enemy unit bleeding for four and your third vampire. Oriana will then come down with three or four turns to go to give you a three point unit, a three point bleeding unit or a four point bleeding unit and your third or fourth vampire depending on what else has happened during the round. This gives you a lot of value straight away as Oriana, if you place her on the ranged row, will boost by the number of bleeding enemy units. That's automatically making her a 6 for 9 and if those bleeding units carry on bleeding and nothing comes down to stop Ariana, she could go up to 8, maybe even 9 points of value. Next we'll take a look at the Monsters Thinning Package. This package is greatly advantaged by the fact that it contains Wild Hunt Rider. Wild Hunt Rider is one of the, if not the best, Bronze Thinning Packages in the game. You can play them out very early, even on turn 1, and you will get 8 points of value, 1 card thinning, without any kind of extra requirement. It also contains Foglet, which thins from the deck on death wish this has a couple of different triggers that we'll look at in a minute in this deck it also contains roach which will thin out of the deck when you play any of your gold cards and note it doesn't have to be units it will proc when you play a special card as well finally it contains naglafar or however that's supposed to be pronounced um this more often than not isn't actually used as thinning more as a tutor however it comes with the added bonus that you can play it in round two or even round one in some cases to take a card a gold card out of your deck and also control which card is on top of your deck for the beginning of the next round now we come to the control of the deck. It's important to state that Detlaf as a leader is actually a key component of this package. Two damage might not seem like a lot, but when you combine it with the other cards in this package, it can be quite devastating. No more so because it spawns the Ekamara that adds more value to our side of the board. First we have Regis Bloodlust. Four is still a very important number in Gwent engines tend to run at around four to six strength so being able to deal the four damage to a six strength unit kill it off with that laugh very key if you do choose to get the death blow with regis then banishing an important unit that you don't want to be used again from the graveyard can be good not Often it's a rare thing, but having the option is there. Regis Bloodlust works as a complete improvement on Enraged Ifrit. If you are running Enraged Ifrit before, you can run Blood Regis Bloodlust now. 
it shouldn't be forgotten either that Regis Bloodlust is also a vampire, so if it's being used in round 3 before Oriana comes down, it only adds to the bleed value that you get in that bleed package we discussed earlier. We also see the addition of the eternal favourite Cyclops, it's still a very good card. A 5 for 6 is already not terrible, but if you combine it with a Foglet, for example, then you start to see how it really finds its ground in mid-range decks. The Foglet thins out of the deck because of the Death Wish, so you don't lose the three points that were on your side of the board, and on top of that, you get the three points as damage to apply to the opponent's side of the board as well. It's perfect, really. And on top of that, if you are looking at a 5 strength unit, you can also combine it with Detlaf, if need be. Finally, we also include Drowner, not so much for the Thrive as is seen in the Giants lists, but because of the deploy ability. Doing 2 points of damage in itself, not that great. Combining it with Detlaf, again, you can trade up to a 4 three or four point engine early on in the game. You also have the movement, which is not to be understated. There are a lot of decks out there that have row locked units. Elven Swordmaster, Magne Division. If you can move them onto a row where they are not gaining as much value, then it's just an additional bonus. Now we come to the key package of the deck. This is the big value point slam package. First, there's Gale, another vampire, good in round 3. I had some reservations about whether this card would actually be seeing play come Crimson Curse, but seeing it in this deck, see, you can see how it really works. There is a lot of opportunity to get a card down to one point. You can use the Cyclops you can use Detlaf to do so. You can use Parasite, which we'll move on to in a minute. There are plenty of options to activate this deploy ability and the death blow all in one go. And of course, you're looking to get on a four strength unit or higher. You can settle for a three strength unit if there's nothing better on the board, and that is a reasonable six point. I feel like Werecat has a bit of a bad reputation and it is a little bit undervalued. I know Hamedi, who made the deck, absolutely loves this card. I think I've grown to appreciate it while testing it in this deck. More often than not, we don't worry about the Thrive. It does punish a go an opponent going wide. You can also remove it off the board again to repeat the deploy ability and get double double dip on the value that it provides. If you do decide to use the Thrive, then it actually becomes a good target for something like Cyclops, allowing you to trade slightly higher up, at least in strength, to a different unit. It also comes in great with Bruess, which isn't in the deck yet, but we'll be seeing that shortly. Parasite is a card that doesn't see a lot of play, and we weren't sure whether or not it would work in this list, but you can mulligan it away if you're not finding a good target, and if you are finding something tall, 7-8 points, then it combines really well with Gale, or Detlaf, and it can be used for tall removal and to get that extra value on your side of the board if need be. Alpha Werewolf really good card for monsters, probably one of the top crafting picks for me personally. The fact that it is immune points cannot be understated. It's also a proactive play, which this deck doesn't have an awful lot of, so you can play it going first in round 2 or round 3, ideally round 3, um, and you will be playing units that will proc the Thrive as well, so that the, the value that it brings to the deck will only go up. Harpy Egg is a very slow play, which is ideal if your opponent is also playing slowly, but we're looking to use the Death Wish on this unit for something like Bruess again, or Cyclops again, combining it with Deathlath as part of that control package, 
also giving us five points of value on the harpy that spawns if the death wish is triggered. We include Flada as a one-off because the, the card in itself isn't great, but if you can ping a harpy egg with it or a foglet, then the four points of vitality can help you stay in a round just that little bit longer. You shouldn't be afraid to use Flada as a throwaway card if your opponent dry passes, or just as a proactive play on turn one of round three, if you have nothing better to do, and that's totally fine. Finally, we come to Plumard. It's a one-up improvement on Wolfpack. It gives you one extra point as long as nothing interacts with the bleeding that you get, the two-turn bleeding that you get. And of course, if you manage to get two Plumards to, lead, to stay on the board in one round, then you get even more. You get seven points of value for four provisions, which is awesome, actually. It's important to note, though, that if you don't draw two plumards in your hand you really want to mulligan them away and it's totally fine that for them to be stuck in your deck even having thinned everything out they are still mulligan targets and finally we come to what ends up being the finisher for this deck more often than not it's the crone trio the weakest of the three is bruess you want to use the bruess first only consume a foglet or a harpy egg or even just play it without any good targets on the board for five points. The reason, the only reason we actually run Bruess is to make Weavess and Wispess better. Next we come to Wispess. Now if you've played Bruess already you're doing four points of damage and that's the key number of points again that, that number four that allows you to use Wispess as part of the control package. You are allowed to combine it with Detlaf, combine it with another control option over two turns in order to make sure that you're removing a strong engine and more importantly buffing that Weavess one more time. And finally we come to Weavess. By the time you've played the other two crones this is six a six point boost on a five point body 11 points is a big gap if it's your second to last play or even the second to last card or the last card being played in the game not a lot of decks can keep up with that gap if you're already ahead you're even going to be beating things like woodland or gernicora giants now that we've seen how the deck is put together we can jump into a game this game is commented on by Hamedi as it was recorded while we were co-oping together on stream. Let's just jump into it. Okay, we have Foglet, one activator, and one hand rider. We can kick the plumat if we want to go full greedy. I think we should go. And then we have to kick Foglet. Yeah, that is a real problem. Because... The, the problem is if you see a brick uh, before uh, we after the two mulligans, but if you get the brick in the mulligan, uh, we have to start on Wild Hunt Rider, right? Yeah, yeah, always riders when we are able to, because riders is like it's a good thinning tool, but it's possible to to break them it's um, I don't we don't want to I almost feel like okay so they've tactical advantage the elven sword master I almost feel like drowner putting drowner out to make sure yeah yeah the drowner 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 is correct for sure because if he plays uh, Brighthead Dragoon, he's getting delayed uh, the value of the Swarm Master, so it's good. And we can always use Parasite to kill the, the Swarm Master if we see. So they follow that up with Ickling. Okay, he's going for the carryover wood. For the carryover. Yeah. But that means that we can actually... Oh, they've lost connection. We can play the Foglet out safely. Now. Yeah, we can play the Foglet to, to start. 
we don't have uh, we don't have to play really really fast. Yeah, we don't need to play quick. Mm -hmm. Blood and neck and Similian Vat. Okay, uh, we should play the the cyclop. Um... I'm just wondering what we play the cyclops onto. It's Italy, um, right? Or or maybe if we want, we can we can go for the we can go for the werecat and wait one time. We can play werecat into the first round, first row. To get extra thrive points, I, I think Wellcat is correct. Yeah. yeah, because if we use Cyclops into Foglet, we can take Ithlin to one point and we can get a huge Gael value. Maybe we are planning uh, planning to, to ahead of the of the match, but I feel we we will have a uh, tempo to go for the for this kind of greedy options. But it's more like uh, <laughs> I always I, I lost a ton of matches. Okay, this is this is good. I mean, we uh, okay. still take that option, and they used Ida already, so they can't protect Italy from. Okay. Doing so. My only concern is really playing into crushing trap. Yeah, we are playing into crushing trap, but uh, I think it's going for the full elf option. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he plays uh, something to get out Eilerin in next turn. Mm. I will play Cyclops into uh, Italy. We are saying, all right, that, okay, we have Gael, in so you know what you have to do. But at this point, I don't know if he can counterplay Gael. Okay, we are in even points. Welcome, Xenon Slayer. Hi. Long time. Hope you're enjoying work. Sorry, Xenon Slayer in chat. Her is one of Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I, I understand. One of my uh, former three. colleagues from when I lived in Germany. Oh. That's nice. Okay, he's going for... Oh, my know, word. But... It's oh, epidemic. my word. E epidemic value? No. Worse. I think it's the first time I see Shiru. Okay, but we are not really. But okay, he was that Shiru. Okay, we can pass. Well, we're we can pass. Not play. There's no I, way I, I, to catch up. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's no way to catch. But it's the first time I see Shiru. Since, they reworked him. Since they reworked him, right? It is very rare these days. I I, I think it's the first time. Oh, no. I will be lying. Because I I think uh, Johagis from Team Randstad were, were playing it in the One Prime factions. Hmm. Because. Interesting. Because Witchers. Okay, we have a good hand. We can kick. We can maintain Blumard. He's going to dry pass, so I think we can maintain Plumar as 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 the thrash uh, card we will play when they when they pass. I'm holding if you they... to your ability to read people passing, and you've done it again. I, I, okay. uh, it, it, it's more like the most part of people are afraid of passing when they are one one card. Uh, one card down. They are like, okay, if I play, I will probably lose the card. And they are right. They are going to <laughs> lose the card, but they play too conser in a too conservative way. I think they could... Okay, Fleder, another Plumer. Okay, we kick the, the Plumer because Fleder is not... I think we we can maintain this, this hand. This hand is, is good. My only playing? concern. We're pulling either the Bruises or Catacan with. Oh, uh, oh in in that case, we can, so. we can kick Fleder. We can kick Fleder. 
in that case. Well, there is a possibility we don't draw Burlus. Okay, okay, so man maintain this guy. Maintain this hand, I going to be I think we will, we will maintain this hand. I don't I think we should then go as greedy. Okay, we start with the with the Harpy F. Also having Harpy F into Flutter is like having double uh proactive mm -hmm. play. Which is important. Okay, by a Vanguard. Yeah, we don't have really we don't have okay, we play Flutter. I think Flutter is, is correct, but Probably play in melee, in melee. If he's playing a lot of, of felts, so probably he's not playing uh, skirmisher, uh, skirmishers, because as we see, as we see, he only have he only have elves in, in hand. That's probably not the card they wanted to get rid of. Yeah. Okay, if you... Okay, way, Waylay. The, another card that I see for first time. <laughs> okay, we, we play... We can play the, the Alpha Werewolf. It's another proactive play, and it's immune. Do we play on the range? It doesn't matter, yeah, really, does it? It, it doesn't matter in reality, but yeah, we are going to play in range just to to not we, roast we know that, yeah, it. We know that crushing is possibly a thing. I guess this deck could also run lacerate, though I don't know why they would. Okay, as we see, he has six selves in hand, and he has eight cards. So two cards are not eight selves. Cards. So we can, we should use that information. Okay. I'm not discounting shoop, by the way. No shoop. I, I think I think it's not shoop, but it can always happen. Okay, we can play Queen of the Night right now over the over the. I would say the the brighthead, the brighthead. Because I think we can start the, the bleeding engine and getting some some extra value from or from Alpha Werewolf Rise. Also, we still have the three charges. So okay, we, do, we yeah, which we can also okay. now use. I I will use uh, I will use uh, Deathla because. He's trying to go for the swan elves, and we want yeah. to to deny. So, so what, but what else do we play from hand? Do we play? Uh, I I will I will play uh, I will play the the Nafla to see what we we mm -hmm. get. Okay. Let's. Uh, can you tell me the Nafla? Tats? Yep. When I pull them, I'm gonna use Detlaf first. Okay. Okay. And then Naglafar. Okay. It's Weavis or Brewus. Okay, in this case, we use uh, to no no uh, weave us weave us weave us weave weave us and um, boost one of vampires. We are we are going to get a, a sick value of of Oriana. It's it's able to to survive. Also, we have a a four point damage from 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 Whispers, so we will get. Uh, Probably a good guile. He's going for the for another. I don't know what he's why he's using. I'm wondering whether that's some kind of setup for Regis. Uh, no, Wolfsbane. Wolfsbane. Okay, you know what? You can go for for guile. Guile, it's it's a six. It's a, now a six, a seven point play, and we can just disalign the the regis using parasite and okay, we go for dial. I don't see any any real reason. Wolfsbane. It's it's, a, it's kind of of weird. We 
can play Ariana now on the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we need to play Ariana because he don't have a uh, movement effects or I don't expect that. Also, he still have uh, one non elf in hand. That's uh, that's important. We have to play around uh, around that. What was the first ill oh, well. mm, wa Waylay? Waylay and Wolfsbane. Wolfsbane? One more card. One more. Okay, see, I, no, see. Okay, we can go for the. Mm, we can go for the parasite in, into or uh, one point again. Or with us. I, I think Parasite is correct because he's trying to align a possible Regis, but his Regis is not going to get a, a ton of value because he can't align it properly. Also, just a precaution, pre, uh, we are going to play all in, in range row because we are going to deny some points of. Of Regis. Okay, Call of the Forest. He don't have Regis because he only have more elves. So maybe we should go for the for the Regis in, into the Bayhead he plays because we want to deny the the Ilery. because if he's playing Call of the Forest he has Ilery. We actually get better value now if we Regis. Uh, it doesn't have the reach. That's frustrating. I was going to say Regis onto the five point near fight and then Detlaf. I, I would say uh, Regis, Regis, and we can use Detlaf into the two point. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's totally, it's totally correct. He's trying to to swan the 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 field, but we are controlling it. Also, this field, like this, is the the controlish version of of monsters because we are. <laughs> All time stopping rival. Okay, this is wait. <laughs> okay, you you have the same philosophy than me. People pay pass it, but don't don't forfeit. Is because they want to see the the last card. I will happily show them the last card. Yeah. yeah. 